Little goat lovers, Crystal here with Blue Cactus Dairy Goats, and we got some more does in labor today. So right now I'm in here with Cassie. Uh, she appears to probably going to be going first. She looks like she's having harder contractions than than uh, Miss Lodi is. Now Miss Lodi did not expect to be going into labor just yet, but uh, she definitely was. I checked on her, and her udder was just like tripled in size when she pretty much hadn't had an udder um, and so yeah I was like what is going on and checked her ligaments and sure enough she is in labor um, so we have at least Cassie and Lodi for sure for sure and Elsa is really bagged up with super squishy uh, ligaments so Elsa might be later in the day And in the stall right next to Cassie, I have Miss Lodi here. She is, she's looking a little angry, but she always has the angry face. And this is gonna be her first time being a mama. Um, I guess I didn't mention that Cassie, this is gonna be her <laughs> third. So Lodi being a first time mom, I'm of course keep a close eye on her, but she's uh, probably wondering what the heck her body's doing right now, but she's, She's being pretty calm. She's getting pretty talkative. But she's uh, not looking like her contractions are too, too hard. So it's been a couple hours since I noticed her ligaments were gone. So again, just keeping a close eye and I'll be back and forth into these two stalls today. So I've mentioned it before, but Miss Lodi's letting me rub her udder. And she doesn't let you do that. But right now, because she's in labor, most of my does are all about you rubbing on their udders once their contractions are starting. It just kind of eases them, I think. So another good sign for me, for my herd, if they're letting you touch the udder and they don't typically, unless they're on the milk stand, then they're in labor. Baby. Oh, that looks like a pretty good contraction. You can tell the contractions when their back legs get really posty, their butt gets a little butt high, they kind of stick their rump up, and uh, their vulva sinks in a lot. And that's when you can tell that when the vulva's sinking in a lot, that's when you can really tell that they're having a hard contraction. Okay, so Lodi is the ornery little, little short and ornery girl that we have. She's uh, she does not take no crap from any of the big girls. She's pretty funny. We guys, if you guys hear the commotion, we have five milkers in the next pen. Um, we did separate them from the babies, so they're a little bit upset. But not only that, they're getting bagged up. Um, they're in the stall, not able to browse. And so it does take a day or two for them to get used to it, but but they're gonna be okay. All right, so Lodi's doing pretty good for now. So again, I'm gonna keep a close eye on her. I'll be back and forth, and, and the whole time watching Elsa too. She's a couple stalls down. If I feel like I need to move her over, then I will. Um, but for now, for now she's doing good. Um, but Cassie is hollering at me, so I'm gonna get over to Cassie. So pregnant does and does milk just. Just a holler, and here we go, guys. It's getting, it's getting crazy. <laughs> so Cassie here, I love you. I, I'm sorry. Cassie here. Um, I don't know. Can you pan over to that beautiful udder? <laughs> she noticed. Cassie, this place is crazy right now, isn't it? We got Cassie laying down. It's been about an hour since we came out and sat with them. She has just been walking around the whole time. She has not laid down that I've seen just yet. We got Miss Emily visiting Lodi in here. Still no slime on either of them. How we doing, Lodi? 
I tell you what guys, it is loud around here today. Um, and it always makes a difference too, like I've literally never heard the likes of Roxy. Like none of my goats have ever screamed like that. She's... She's crazy. Poor thing. But anyway, she um, is getting everybody else riled up too, so that's another thing going on with her screaming her head off the other does get riled up and they start doing the same so it's another thing going on all right guys so Cassie here is up again still no slime nothing to see here kind of action so Lode I see is laying down and Emily wanted to go check Elsa um, and she claims that there's no ligaments and I did look at her about an hour ago but I didn't check her ligaments and she was looking like she's just, Elsa has just been laying around like a bump on a log. And uh, for about the last hour she's been standing, which isn't normal for her. Her ears are cocked back and she's looking a little, a little uncomfortable. So we're gonna go check on Elsa. It's okay. Hey Elsa. How's she doing? Yeah. Very talkative. You're very talkative, yeah? I told you guys, Elsa gets really talkative. She's wanting pet, aren't ya? Is it time, girl? Time to release my Swiss dough? She's gonna give me three bucks because I've said it too many times. Three Swiss bucks. That's what you're gonna do, huh, girl? Or yeah. Did Lucky choose a doe. Hopefully, Lucky chose does. All right. Let's see. Can I check? Can I check you, baby? Let's see. Let's see, that's a good sign. She ain't running. Yeah. Doe number three in labor. Good girl. Let's see if she'll let me fill her udder. She might not be that close. Oh yeah. Okay. Time for Elsa. How you doing? I think you're pretty early because I know your ligaments were there. She might be an all-nighter. Hopefully she progresses quickly, but you might be an all-nighter, huh? Hopefully not. going to be a lot of babies. I don't know, guys. She's a big mama. She's only given triplets before. Three times she's given triplets. Look at her. She's getting awful talkative. So we'll see. What do you think, Emily? How many? You think four? Look how big she looks. She looks like she's got, you know, five or six in here, but I think four too. I know. I thought I thought that last year, and she just had triplets. So we'll we'll just see. We got out of the five births we've had so far this year in the last couple of days, um, we've had four triplets and and one twins. So. They're all having quite a few kids this year. Huh. It's about to get real loud when Elsa starts pushing out kids. She looks like the exorcist took a hold of her. She's sometimes just on her back with all legs up. Like she, she gets a little crazy and screams. Um, just about as loud as Roxy's been screaming. Which lo Roxy looks like she's taking a little nap now. That's good to see. Good girl. Yeah? You didn't tell us about it? Alright, girl. She wants me out of the way. She can't fit. <laughs> she cannot fit through there, no. Alright, I'm gonna go check on Lodi, okay? I think it's getting a little too hot for my jacket. I'm gonna have to shed some layers here. <laughs> oh no, she's not too bagged up. She was letting you touch the ligaments. Can I check on you, girl? Nice, Shelly. 
can I check on you? <laughs> we don't need foreign labor. <laughs> can I feel? Please? Oh, they're there. They're there. Woo! <laughs> These just look like the most sweetest little angels sitting in here on your straw. All bundled up. How are you doing? You have the coziest little stall, I'd say. You deserve it. Because you're too sweet. Two humans. Huh. How are we doing, girl? That's not a good contraction, is it? She's not letting me see if she's got slime just yet. You good? Don't headbutt the camera. Everybody's just saying hi, Lodi. They're excited for you. She's thinking about it. Get that thing out of my face. Pretty baby. All right, well, let's get back over there with Cassie, because Cassie, I got a, just a glimpse of her back end as I was coming into Lodi's pen here, and I'm pretty sure she's got the starts of some slime. So I can't tell with Lodi, but I might be able to peek through the cracks there on the picket fencing to see if I can see her back end. I don't want to move her because I know she's uncomfortable. And that was a horrendous burp, girl. <laughs> Man. That was a pregnancy burp for sure. I know. Alright, so Cassie does have a little bit of slime happening. Now this could either be in the next 30 minutes she has her babies or we could still have a couple hours, so it's hard telling. You never really know. Each one can be different. If you guys saw the previous labors, there was a couple of our does didn't even have slime at all, which in most cases you'll see slime before anything. That wind, ugh. It's got to just be windy here all the time. It's horrendous. <laughs> but in most cases, you'll see the slime first, um, and then, then they'll start pushing out babies. But again, every goat is different. And then even the same goat, will have different labors throughout so you just kind of got to go with what's most common in most cases so lots of variances there but anyway this girl has slime just holler them back and forth at each other and pretty soon these girls are going to be hollering pushing out babies gets loud around kidding season What's with these super long hairs right here, girl? Because they're white. She's just got a couple white down her mohawk. White hairs typically, well, they always grow faster, but sometimes they'll be longer. So she's got that going on. Let me give you a little haircut. Maybe later. Okay. All right. Well, it's getting serious, isn't it? She has, like I said, this is going to be her third freshen. Um, her first freshen, first time she had babies was um, twins. Second time was just a single buckling, and that was last year. Um, because she had a single, um, you couldn't really see. The first udder is going to be not as big as obviously as they have more freshens throughout their life. Um, and then the second freshen, it was like, dang it, I couldn't because she didn't have but one kid. So it wasn't as big as it could potentially be. And this year, she's got two or three in there for sure. Um, hopefully it's not two big bucks, but, but yeah, her udder I'm just really, really pleased with. It has really developed into a beautiful udder. And she doesn't even have all the milk that she will have. So like their their udder bump, you know, when they're when they're pregnant or going to labor isn't going to be as much milk as they have, say, two, four weeks into 
lactation. So it's going to be exciting to see how big and pretty her udder actually gets. Oh girl, she does not care about that right now. And Lodi's just laying there with her ears cocked back. She doesn't look like she's having super hard contractions or anything. She's chewing her cud with her RBF kicking. And it doesn't look like any slime. And then Emily's over there. She's going to holler back at me if anything happens with, with Elsa. But more than likely, Elsa will not be before Cassie or Lodi. But who knows? They like to surprise you. It has been, gosh, like an hour and a half since she had that slime peeking. She's been up and down and up and down. And Miss Lodi and there's up again. No slime for Lodi still. But her contractions are getting harder. How are we doing, sweetie? Yeah. You've made yourself a nice little nest hole. Are we getting close or what, girl? She doesn't want to talk about it. Oh. Oh my gosh, that's quite the hole you've d dug there. Her contractions are getting closer. How's it going with you, Elsa? You want to show these girls up and have some babies all quick like? Emily's keeping her company. <laughs> Good girl. You're getting your liquor ready, huh? Okay, guys. So, <clears throat> I was telling with Cassie, you typically see slime first. I haven't seen her do anything, but just a second ago, she's... I was in with Cassie because she was bedding down, and I just peeked through the, the slats. And her slime is red with blood. Um... And she started pushing a little. She's got little pushes here. I have never, ever, ever, ever seen the slime red and bloody. I tried looking it up, and it, I, I don't know. I couldn't find anything quick enough, I suppose. But she's got little pushes here now, and I don't... I'm pretty dang worried. I think I've heard before that, like, if they're aborting, there'd be blood. But I, I, really, I really don't know. I've never, ever experienced that, so I'm a little freaked out. I'm a lot freaked out. She hasn't had like real big pushes or anything, but just little tiny ones getting, pushing them forward. And she's not acting like she's in extreme distress in any way, shape, or form. I'm just worried I was right on the due date. What if she's having miscarrying or potentially it was a big kid, maybe just a rip, I don't know, inside that's making the slime bloody I don't know okay, girl. I think I can see it slime should be clear like opaque and that that there, guys, is blood. Hold on, Cassie.
Lily. You guys can see that. I just... That does not give me a good feeling. She's pushing. Oh my goodness. feel like a bunch of kids or anything. That looks like the water's breaking, liquid coming out. Anything other than the slime. It does look like it's getting more clear as it comes out, less blood. Good girl, Lodi. Girl, my lord, let this be positioned properly. Okay, what the heck is that? Did you see that? No. No? It looks like just a little hole or a tiny sack. Water's breaking, definitely. I don't know what the heck is going on. I don't think it's good. Never have I ever seen anything like this. Boarding. All right, baby. There's something bigger behind whatever the heck that is. I mean, 
that's a fluid sack. A little. another fluid sack. <laughs> so it should just be one per baby. <laughs> a little bigger. You're good baby. Everybody's rooting you on, girl. <laughs> Come on, girl. It's coming. Sack, actually. Oh, okay. There's normal. Sack. That was the baby. Sack. That's a hook. Push out that nose. Actually, it's a smaller kid because that fluid sack is not very big and that hoof does not look very big either. Is, is, it, in, is, is it in danger if it's, if it's popped? Not until the umbilical cord breaks. So she's okay. And the slime is clear now, so I mean that's good. The sack popped and this is clear. So potentially it was just a tear from her baby through causing the fall. I mean, it's big right here. I think that is a That's a tongue and a hook. Okay, you guys see a tongue and a hook? I see it. All right, I know, baby. Does she need help pulling it out? No, just she's fine right now. There's nothing to pull out yet, anyway. She's only been pushing a couple minutes. She's all right. This is her first kid. This is normal. It'll take a little while to pass it, you know. We know we got a nose and at least one hook, so it's positioned. Semi-properly, at least. At least semi-properly. Ideally, there's a nose and two hooves, which possibly there is there. So, I don't know. You got it, girl. You got it. I can help you. I'll pull that leg out with you. You got this, Mama. All right. 
You are, I promise. <laughs> The tongue's moving. <laughs> the canal whip is not an issue, or he wouldn't have that head there. It's just open, opening her over. It's stretching it. And that's what. Come on. Get a leg out. That's the front leg. Okay, girl. Keep pushing. You're okay. This baby's good. I got it out a little for you, honey. All right. All right. We got a live kid here. Potentially is wanting to breathe. Can you do this, low die? Yeah, he's trying to do One leg, that's the point. Look at you. Almost, girl. Alright, you're okay. Come on. This goat is trying to breathe, it looks like. Yep. Shoot, okay. It's breathing. It's coughing. Low die? You gotta get this kid out, sweetheart. I know. One leg back, but I know you can do it. You're getting there, baby. Come on. Go call dad. It's getting there. Okay, okay. Good job, girl. You did it. You did it. Okay. What is with the mucus stuff? Now, come on. Come on. Hi. Hi. You had your leg back. Whoa. Oh. Well, that's not a miscarried goat. No. Okay. Here, Mama. Look. Look. I have one leg back. Look at what you did, Lodi. She's not interested. It's all right. What's it do? I don't know. Hold on, Emily. Better get her up on. She's not licking. Look, baby. Look. Maybelline did the same thing for like four or five minutes. Yeah, rub some of that on her. Oh, here we go. Here we go. That was just. There you go. You did that. That's what Maybelline did. <laughs> what is going on? It was trying to breathe and it only had its nose and its mouth out and I was clearing it out. I was like, oh god, we gotta get this out. What a relief. Lodi fills herself finds herself in the awkward spot of wanting to show love. But also doesn't know how. But also doesn't yes, doesn't possess the Oh, let's be, let's be, Oh, 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 
Well, that's not gonna. That's your baby. There's that. Oh. Good job. It looks like a little Lodi twin. I know. Oh. That's your baby. <laughs> oh. Oh! That's your little twin, sweetheart. Here, look. Are those blue eyes? No. Let me put that. Mmm! I don't know how you feel there, girl. Can you smell it? Just. No? Okay. Maybe try backing up a little. I think that was her only one, Crystal? Not. I don't know. I have no idea. I think it's small enough there could be another. I think Lodi's hoping it's her only one. It had one leg back, so I'm gonna bet it's a boy. Aww. There you go, Lodi. Girls, Lodi's fine. Yeah, go comfort her, will you? Yeah, so it looks like she's getting pretty hard contractions too. Is that Elsa screaming? Yes. Yeah. She's upset Emily left. She's like, if you don't quit doing that. <laughs> Loda. Loda, you did a thing. She th oh. <laughs> Oh. Oh no. Look at him looking up at Mama. What you got there, Lodi? She does not know what she just did. That was a rough one, huh, girl? Mom. It's a little mini Lodi. <laughs> there she goes. Good job, girl. Just <laughs> Why do you keep getting this on my face? Good <laughs> girl, low dive. Let's see. It's a girl. No way! It's a little girl. I would have I thought I would have thought it was a boy. I said one arm was back. I figured as much. They're troublemakers. But this is a mini Lodi, right? I think she was cold. Look at her. She's like, feed me. That was rough. It's a... Uh... There you go, baby.
I guess. Good job, Lodi. Oh, you might have another. Low die. Meanwhile, Cassie's over there, poor baby. Elsa's over in the other stall screaming. Well, Loda, I didn't think you were going to go first. You were just so calm this whole time. Right up until pushing. Oof. She fell in your crater, you dug. Let me get that crater filled in a little. Is that better? Here. Oh, look at you now. You see it. Good mama. Instincts are a beautiful thing. Let me see how you look back here, girl. Yeah, you're okay. I do not know what that blood was from, but oh my gosh, it scared the crap out of me. Uh oh, uh oh. Good job, Mama. Good job. I'm proud of you. And there she is. There she is. Right here. There you go. You want it in that hole? Will that make you feel better? Oh, shake it off. Quite the day. I wonder if she's got another. Want to Yeah, but I also don't want to mess with her because she's finally licking the baby, you know? How's it going over there, Emily? All good. Elsa's good? Yeah. She was just... It's a little dough. Yay! Yeah, Are looks just... There? It's a Lodi, a mini Lodi for sure. Looks her twin. Eye color and everything. Loki? Could be little Loki, yeah. You keeping Loki? I don't know, baby. You pulled? I think so. Lodi? No. Silly girl asked all those questions I earlier. <laughs> all of them. No, I got your liquor out. Good job, Mama. Sweet girl. Good job. Nothing? I don't think so. Alright girl, I don't usually do this so soon, but since I got to go in the other stall, I'll make sure, I know, you're going to be fun when someone tries to eat off you. There you go. Just unplugging your teeth so she can eat. It's not to watch your udder, huh? That one doesn't want to unclog. Hold on girl, we'll get it. There we go. Let's make sure. She is deep. I don't think she has any more, but if she does, we'll definitely hear her hollering. How cool. That was scary. I don't know. I've never seen blood like that. She must have just kind of got a rip or a tear. Pulled Lodi. Got pulled from Daddy Merle. 
But didn't get blue eyes from Daddy Merle. But she's adorable. So that's like, uh, I mean, it's not a tiny kid. That's why, like, singles for first-timers are just so hard. And you saw, I mean, obviously she passed it, and it was fine. It would have been better and a heck of a lot easier on her had the two legs been positioned forward. But... There you go. Lodi is a mama. How are we doing in there, Cassie? You don't really look like you're doing much of anything. Her contractions have been getting super hard. Anytime now she's gonna pull a load eye and just drop these, you know, start pushing, so. How are we? She's good, I bumped her, I don't feel anything else. Uh -uh. Do we know what she had yet? It's a girl. A brown eye, I believe, pulled. Wow. I haven't double checked her teeth, so not everything's in order yet, but. Her twin. <laughs> Solid black. Itty bitty. Ooh. And she's really not that small. <laughs> oh, Lord, I being good now, huh? Yeah. Instincts have kicked in. Yep. Good job, Lodi. Looks like a big girl right there, doesn't she? Meanwhile, in the stall next to Lodi, this stall's windier. She is having some contractions over here. This is going to be soon, maybe, girl? Yeah. Time to explain. 
Is that clean? Ish. <laughs> it's clean enough for in here. We didn't have time. Alright, that's the kid sack. And that is the fluid sack, so. Um. Good girl. I can't tell yet. Looks like another black one. Are you be able to do that? What is that? A hub? Yeah, that's where it was. Alright. I see a nose and a hub. A little It's like a little black and white. You got this girl. Give some room there. Good job, you almost have it. Almost. Oh, that's gonna be flashy, girl. Black and white. Okay. Oh, that was a big head. Almost, girl. You gonna rest? Heck yeah. Okay. Can't see? Yes, she's alright. There's a need to breathe. That, it's the fluid sac still there. He's okay. That's a big old kid. You don't think I know? Good job, girl. Oh! Good job. Good job. Good job, Mama. Oh! It's bigger than I had cookies. Big, yeah. Half it out. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Okay, here you go, Mama. Here you go. Look what you did. Look. Little girl. Yeah. This is crazy. This is our dough here. Nine doughs. Yes. Six bucks. Blue eyes? Brown eyed and pulled. Oh. Gotcha. Oh, goodness, girl. Good job. Okay. He's flashing. You got a lot of black and white. <clears throat> Good job. Now I'm thinking it's just two. Huh? Now I'm thinking it's just two. I don't know. She's still pretty darn big. Let's see. Let me fill one down here. There's one right there. She might have three. Unless the other one's not positioned. Okay. Do you just think of the worst? No, I mean like unless the other one, unless it's down here and she still has to push it up. Oh, okay. A lot of times if she let one out and you can still feel them down here. Yeah, I can feel that. Maybe. Unless it's another really good one. Good job. Lode, that is not your baby. Now she's going to be wanting still babies. Lodi. She's like... <laughs> or maybe she's like, you better stay away from my baby. She doesn't know what to do. Good job, girl. Jeez, Cassie. Those girls over there are mad that they're in here having babies. Look at 
little Lodite. <laughs> Got another one coming, girl. Possibly a false alarm. Possibly. Yep, false alarm. You're a good girl. <coughs> Like <laughs> oh, who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Five, five, square, fence. No. Oh. I saw that bubble peeking. Not like when it goes back in. <laughs> what happened there, Mama? Big kids, girl. There's the tongue, another black and white. You're a good girl. That's big. Come on. There we go. Another push. 
Oh, this is a brown one. You're first. That's a chamose. Is it? Maybe. Oh, it's like a gold. It's a big old boy, betcha. Yeah, you're all right. Hey. There you go. Good job, Mama. It's the same as it. Doesn't have a black belly though. Oh. Or black legs, but he's blue-eyed, horn, and has little balls. Hey, hey, look. It was big. Jeez. Those are big kids, girl. You're making them hardy. <laughs> got number three. Triplets is the theme this year. Another big one. That looks like a chamois-ish. Come on, girl. Ooh. Come on, you got it. Oh, kids. Jeez Louise. Oh. It's a brown one. Everest. Is Everest throwing those colors? Hey, hey. There we go. Nice lungs. You gotta be a boy. <laughs> Hold, horn? I don't know. I couldn't tell. Let's just get this baby cleaned off and get those others in front of her. Okay, gosh. Little girl. Yeah. Yeah. Let's help her clean this one off because she's got three. The sun will go down soon. Good job. Right. Hi. Hi. You're beautiful. Let's see. I can't really tell. She's dull, so. Look. Look, look, look what you did. Yeah, pulled. A blue eyed pulled. Here, you come here. So they're all pulled. Yeah. Come here, by Mama. You get me another towel, I'm gonna help her clean those off. <laughs> Emily! We got two does and a buck! I know, I'm just gonna dry you off a little. You've been. Is she done? I think so. Yeah, she's done. Okay. Elsa's got slime. I just see, girl. No, I'm just helping your mama because the sun's about to go down. Yeah. You're handsome. Yes, you are. Like your daddy. Yeah. You got all your parts in the right places. Only two teats. Normal bum. Good to go. Yeah. You're adorable. I know. Hey, mama. Okay. Let me see you, sweet girl. You're really wet still. Oh, I didn't think she was going to have any more. Let's see what's going on here. She just wants a... That's okay. Oh. <laughs> he looks cute there. <laughs> You're pretty. Everybody was wanting a blue-eyed 
whole dough out of Miss Cassie. You. I have lots of people wanting you, sweet girl. Oh, I guess I don't need my glasses right now. Darren? Yeah, please. gotcha. Ah! Those goats. Oh my goodness. Moon spot? One little tiny moon spot right there on Finally. her ear. She finally threw a moon spot. Right there in the ear. Oh. Sweet. <laughs> she might have more when she gets dried off, but that's one. That means she can throw them. Yeah. It's usually the ones that are covered in moon spots. Don't throw them. But the ones with just a couple, they throw them. It's weird like that. All right, you're gonna be a hot commodity. Yes, you are. Maybe I'll just keep you. No? Okay, fine. You, she said it there. <laughs> she did. Look at that. Uh huh. Just like the color of her mama's moon spots. Good girl. You want me to see if you're unclogged? There we go. Oh, that one's clogged, girl. There we go. Oh, that was a lot of babies. Look at that. Sunken in. She'll snap right back to shape. Good girl. Her first trip. Let's see, I want to take that yucky towel from you, girl. Okay. Let's see. Oh, you better get up on your feet. I have that, girl. Thank you. Good job, Mama. There. Okay. Good job. How oh, funny a moon spot. Finally. So, so two girls here, then the boy. Nope, this is the boy. Oh. Frosted ears, blue eyes, oh. horn. And this is the girl with one tiny moon spot on her ear, blue eyed and pulled. There's not a lot of movement there, but there is movement, so let me just double check. Yeah, you don't want me to feel. You better let me double check before I tell somebody you're pulled or not. Looks like swirls there. Which means? Which would typically mean horn, but that's not. I mean, that's movement. That is movement. She's pulled. And double check. Did I check you had everything in the right places? I don't, I don't think, think you. All right, we're going to check. Just two cheats. Proper looking bum. Good job. I checked the boy, but I didn't check this girl here. You're pretty chill, huh? Just like real chillax. Yeah. I got, oh, I just want to see. I know, I'm in your lady parts. Okay. Good. Yeah, you're good. I agree, I just had to double check. And good, good, good. You all are perfect. Okay, wowza. We will be back to check on you, Mama. I think you got this. You're not a first timer or nothing. You got Elsa over there with slime. Good job, baby. Whew, one more to go. 
today. In theory. Yeah, today. In theory, unless somebody else decides they wanted to go. Alright guys, so Cassie did amazing triplets, two does and a buck. She did good. Triplets. That's like so many triplets. Um, so now I will see you again soon guys because I gotta get in there with Elsa. She's got slime. So see you soon.